Hi everyone, I'm Tin Ling. I'm Deputy Director for Light Rail Transit and Rail Digitalization, as well as Deputy Chief Specialist for Rolling Stock and Depot. I heard you have some questions about environmental and sustainability. So I'm here to fill you in. So in LTA, we have four main ways of getting us green and lean. Firstly, being more energy efficient in the equipment that we use. Secondly, using renewable energy such as solar. Thirdly, using less materials right at the start, even at the design stage. And fourthly, using technology innovations such as artificial intelligence. So I'm glad that you asked. I'm very excited to share with you about using artificial intelligence for air conditioning regulation. One of the cases that we did is in McPherson as well as Paliba Station. That was a trial. We managed to save about 10% of the energy consumption, which equates to about 83,000 kg of CO2 per station per year. The basis and the formulation of uh, using artificial intelligence is to incorporate different features and factors such as the weather, the passenger loading ahead of time, for example in the peak hour and one hour before that, the aircon will be able to regulate itself. And in a low load situation, the aircon will tune up the temperature. When there's crowdedness, it will lower down the temperature. Furthermore, in our Tel 4 station, which is opening soon in 23rd of June, with even more efficient energy air conditioning, we are putting in standing fans. Standing fans will be able to help us to improve the commuters' comfort when they're waiting for the trains. By this action, we'll save about 15% of the energy consumption, which is about 700,000 kg of CO2, or equivalent to 5,800 of HDB flats energy consumption. Yes, of course there is another green feature on our trains, which is known as the regenerative braking. Unlike all our petrols and diesel car, our train do not have any emissions at the tailpipes. They are very very green in the first place. Regenerative braking actually is similar to our electric vehicle. When the trains are braking, we convert the huge amount of kinetic energy back to electrical energy that can be used by other trains in the network. So as you can imagine, a lot of energy will be returned to the grid to be used by other trains and help us to save energy in the process. So as you may be aware, the first few fleet of North South West Line trains are being decommissioned right now and being replaced by the new R151 trains. So during this process of decommissioning, we are working very closely with the community to upcycle some of the parts such as the handrail, hand straps and the seats to give them a new lease of life and helping the community at the same time. If you are interested to find out more about cycling parts, please feel free to email us here. Thank you guys for all the questions. I hope you learned something about environmental sustainability of our trains. See you next time.